Okay, hello scrappers. Uh, I had a customer drop off an old CRT monitor, Dell, and it was incredible how heavy this thing is. I picked this up, I had to bring it inside to uh, uh, get it out of the customer's car, and uh, the thing must weigh, I'd say we're easily 50, if not 60 pounds. So, uh, just incredible how the technology has changed from the CRT uh, monitors and televisions for that matter to the uh, the LCD that we've got now that weigh 15 20 pounds depending on what it is you're looking at uh, what size you're looking at uh, sometimes more obviously if you get into the bigger ones but uh, uh, so yeah so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna want to tilt this thing up onto its front and uh, and go ahead and start removing the screws and I'm going to because this thing's so heavy and awkward uh, so I don't bump the camera, I'm going to hit pause for a moment and I will be right back. Okay, and we're back. Uh, because I needed to take the time to uh, uh, put it down on its face and pause the video, I decided to go ahead and pop the screws out so that you didn't have to see that part. And go ahead and get this backing pulled off. And it looks like it looks like we've got quite a few more screws to pull out before we're actually ready to dive into this thing. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these guys out real quick. Hopefully we can make a quick process of this. Got a few more. I guess this explains some of the weight. There's an awful lot of steel inside of here. take a moment and see what it is that's holding us up here okay so it turns out that this one is actually uh, a lot of mesh pieces coming together you actually have to pull all the screws pull each section apart and all these are slid together where you have to adjust them just to get them apart from each other and then you can get inside of the uh, the actual casing itself so we'll go ahead and do that Now we're actually making some progress here. Go ahead and start pulling some of this stuff out of the way here. Okay. Now that we're making some progress here, I want to take this moment and pause and uh, explain how this part works. Let me, let me clear out a little bit more of this. Okay. So the first thing you want to do for safety is you want to make sure that you cut the cord going from the transformer to the, uh, the tube itself. Um, the reason you want to do that is, is for safety. The CRTs have been known to discharge electricity even after they're sitting for long periods of time. Uh, the technology in these newer CRTs has changed uh, to correct this, but uh, um, Unless you know what you're doing and you've been doing this a while, there's no way that you're going to be able to identify which ones are the new ones and which ones are the old ones. Um, in fact, this one, uh, this this looks like an old CRT, but uh, for all I know, it could have just been the uh, the, the body style that uh, Dell went with. So anyway, you want to make sure that you cut this before you uh, you go through and pull uh, any of these apart. And that's, that's just for your own safety so that you don't get... Uh, you don't get zapped or anything like that because they will hold a charge. So now that that's cut off, we'll go ahead and we'll continue uh, pulling this thing apart. Let's get some of this stuff out of here. We'll come back and take a look at that in a moment. So what we're actually after here is right here. So we're going to go ahead and 
loosen these guys up so we can slide this off. Take a look. So what we're looking for here, notice the uh, the inside of this thing, we've got this nice, real pretty copper. This is called a yoke. And these, uh, some of them you'll find are better quality than others. Some of them are really heavy with the copper on the inside. Some of them just have a little bit. This one, we haven't gotten far enough inside to figure this one out yet. So I'm going to, and now this has got a whole lot more plastic on it than they typically do. So it's going to take a moment just to get inside to, uh, to uh, be able to see just exactly what this one has. So I'll be back in just a moment. Okay, so that took a few minutes longer than I thought it was going to. But uh, as you can see here, I haven't really, I haven't gotten it fully torn apart yet. But uh, uh, we're making some progress here. You can see there's a lot of real nice copper inside of there. Um, this weighs, we've probably got... Yeah, probably two pounds of weight here. Uh, and now keep in mind, there's still a little bit of plastic there. And so that's going to add to some of that weight. But this is the really good, uh, really good quality, nice clean copper here. Um, and then also, this is also part of the uh, part of the yoke. We've got some more copper up inside there. And obviously the insulated copper. We've got a little pile started over on the side there. And then even along the uh, the outer edge of this, we've got, uh, we've got some more of this real nice copper here. So... For those of you uh, uh, pulling these apart for the copper, which obviously that's the uh, that's the main component of these that people would pull them apart for, uh, you can see there's some real good quality copper inside of there. And then uh, you just want to go through and clean up the uh, the rest of the wires that we've got here. And very deep down inside of here, it's hard to see on this view. Um, and I'll I'll pull this apart even more. But this this heavy wire right here, this is a this is called the Degorsen cable. And there's some real good. I don't know if you can see the uh, the diameter of that, but there's some real good quality. Uh, copper wiring inside of that and that is the type that you'd want to go through and, and strip the plastic off for. So let me pull this other part of the monitor back up here and see just exactly what made this thing up. So this was the uh, th this was the top portion and notice we've got uh, a bunch of steel. We've got a circuit board over here. It looks like a real low grade board. A uh, whole bunch of uh, uh, just, just little components that really don't have any value to them. Maybe a little uh, uh, Got some extruded out aluminum. Right. I've been watching a lot of e-waste Ben uh, uh, YouTube, and it makes me want to say aluminum. But uh, aluminum in the United States, uh, aluminum. Uh, I actually prefer the way Ben says it. Uh, I, I think it's funny when people give him a hard time about the way he talks. So I, I'd, I'd actually much prefer uh, a lot of the words that he says versus the way we say it in the United States. Just uh, seems uh, seems more interesting. I guess so anyway um, back on topic here so we've got uh, a bunch of steel some uh, aluminum uh, some copper wiring and so on so a little bit of value here uh, not a whole lot I wouldn't waste your time doing uh, a whole lot on this uh, certainly pull the boards off throw them in your your low grade quality boards and uh, uh, I'd leave it at that so I'm gonna take a break here take a moment and I'm gonna remove this outer casing here so we can get down to the degorsen cable and so you can see what that's all about. Okay, so I finally got this thing pulled apart and this one is certainly a unique design. They're, they're not all this way. Um, this one, they put all this, this extra steel chassis on here so that, uh, I don't know the reason why they did it, but notice it's got all these extra clips. It's got the wire tucked into all these little plastic clips here and it turns out that this isn't actually even attached to that. well it was attached to the, the plastic molding but um, it, it's got its own separate chassis so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pull all this out of here if we can I'll grab the cutters okay so we've got the cutters now and Go ahead and just start cleaning this up, cleaning this up over here. So this right here, we should have two of these degorsen cables on here. So, there we go. There's 
one and attach to each other. So you see just how thick that is. Real good, heavy quality uh, copper inside of there. At least it should be copper. Uh, it's been my experience that they're that they're copper. So go ahead and pull this one out. Real good, heavy quality degorsing cables, and we've got this. Uh, uh, if I remember correctly, that's uh, I don't remember what that is. It's copper. There's a, it's infused with something else. It's it's got a it's a it's a mesh. I can't remember if that's. Uh, I don't recall what that is. But anyway, this so this is copper, and you can. You can uh, hold that off to the side. There is still value there. Uh, it's not nearly as it's not as good as the pure copper, but uh, there there is still some value there. And some people will throw that off to the side and hold on to it, and uh, and get their value out of it. So anyway, so we've got degorsing cables. We've got some scrap steel laying around. Scrap steel. Uh, but the big thing that we're looking for when we're doing these uh, these CRTs is the the copper. Notice the uh, the copper. Big copper yoke there, nice, good, clean, healthy copper. Uh, plenty of wire, plenty of uh, insulated cable. Just make sure it all gets into your copper, separate out your metals, and uh, yeah, just just have fun doing it. Uh, honestly, the reason I started doing this was because uh, um, I've got a, a somewhat stressful job and I was looking at a way of uh, just relaxing and getting myself on a mindless task, something that was fun. And I found that this is uh, th this is a great avenue for me. Uh, it's kind of like my my Zen garden, uh, where some people do the, uh, the, the the little Zen things and relaxation and meditation, all that. Uh, I I prefer scrapping. Uh, I prefer going through pulling things apart, identifying the different parts and pieces, just understanding how things work, or or at least the components that put them together. And yeah. So anyway, uh, have fun. Uh, enjoy enjoy scrapping and uh, good job everyone everybody who's doing this uh, you're making the world a little cleaner helping keep things out of landfills so uh, keep up the good work